Man, what is Slink got over here, man? Oh my goodness. Man. Woo. What's up, Soren? It's time, nigga. Oh, hey, man. It's like a summer barbecue, man. A fish fry? Yeah, a little fish fry. This is the kind of fish fry you do when your sponsorship is non existent. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The GP fish fry. That's the GP fry. This the I didn't know y'all was coming over here, fish fry. Hey, man. Well, let's get into it here on the gray area, man. Yeah, man, and we're here on the gray area, and it's summertime, man. We gotta get into this barbecue situation, man, because summertime, we got the barbecues, and there's so much on this topic that's so hilarious, man. First of all, Slink, have you ever been to a white barbecue? Um, Yes, I have. Um, You know, I've been to a couple of white barbecues. I've been to a poor white barbecue, <laughs> and I've been to a more affluent white barbecue, but I will say I had a lot of fun at both, and but however they're very different from the barbecues i come up yeah i was gonna say i haven't been uh to that many white barbecues but uh <clears throat> they're a lot more low-key i've noticed they're not as uh animated shall we say not at all not at all <laughs> not at all it's kind of like the catholic church man it's real quiet oh well, catholic church uh next yeah, to us <laughs> next to a sanctified holy church church of god in christ yeah, yeah, people just talking in hushed tones, enjoying their food, not a lot of music playing. Hey, honey, did you? Little Jimmy just scored uh, five runs. <laughs> that, that, that's yeah. great, Jonathan. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. proud of you. Yeah. You're doing a great job rearing him. Mm -hmm. Yes, wonderful. Now, on the other hand, we take it to the hood, the hood barbecue slink. What's your first memory of going to, the, to a, a crazy hood barbecue? Mmm. Look at it. <laughs> Just the music, it was chaotic, especially a big one that wasn't my family's barbecue necessarily. Right. A big one. I was just music and it was, you know, just a lot of fun. I could just remember just the, the some good soul music blaring, people talking, you know, the smells in the air, you know, the grown folks on fish one fry. side. The fish, the, the fish fry, the, mm -hmm. they had the fryers out there cracking. Right. You know what I mean? Amazing time. You know, and this is how real we is. Daddy, you better get you some of this shit because it's going to be gone for the motherfucking sketch over, nigga. <laughs> you better get you one of them something, nigga. Some of these little hors d'oeuvres, nigga. Yeah. But, um, mm. just good, just good times at, at, at a black fish fry, a black uh, outdoor eating event. Just good times. It's always going to be music involved. Always, always, always. You're going to get some arguments going on. You know, get some sports talk. Yeah, and I think that the crazy thing is we've seen so much of black culture be exploited in the media and in entertainment. And when they started making the videos about the barbecues, like nothing but a G thing had it. Then of course, LBC crew, they had the uh, summertime in the, LBC. in the LBC. So I was like, man, this is actually good. We're celebrating something that's uh, positive, enjoyable, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, you know, the nothing but a G thing, I like that volleyball scene where, you know, mm. somebody lost their top, that was enjoyable. Greatest thing, greatest thing. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that video. That was like, that's, new, that's, a, that's a great example of a good outdoor function, you know, for black people. You know, right. it's gonna be music, it's gonna be games. People are gonna come together. We're gonna show off our cars on the curb. I mean, people are gonna be all over the, all over the place. Yeah, man. It was it was a lot of fun. And then of course, one of the super classics was the uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince when they had the summertime, man. Woo! That is the quintessential Woo! summertime jam. That's one that's gonna be played at every barbecue or outdoor event. Black or white. Black or white, actually. Or yeah. Asian or Hispanic, also. Yes, yes. Will Will? Um, excuse me. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Princes yes. version of their song Summertime is the quintessential summertime anthem that transcends Absolutely. race. Yes. You know you white people like that shit. Summer, summer, <laughs> summertime. So of course they do. Mm -hmm. Guilty as charged. Like I like this motherfucking <laughs> fish. Mm. Yeah, man. What are some other great barbecue songs that you know of, Slink? Mm. That make you think of like, oh man, we're, we're kicking it at the barbecue right now. Mm. Man, this fish is good, Slink. Where'd you get this? Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> I got that. I got that from Bandy Camps. Frozen Isle. You owe us, nigga. <laughs> um, um, other, just, just oldies. 
Okay. A slew of oldies, anything Marvin Gaye. Right. Anything Marvin Gaye is, will, will always get a barbecue going. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, 80s and 90s for funk. Right. Parliament Funkadelic. Little, little Gap Band, mm-hmm. get in there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, Isley Brothers. Mm-hmm. You know, especially when it's time to get that slow dance on toward the end of the barbecue. I was towards the end, that's what I was well, about to say. Know, toward the end of the barbecue, you gotta get the little, you gotta, the DJ has to work with you though. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's the key. Whoever's on the ones and twos or however you're doing your Serratos now. Nowadays, you know, a lot of people are, are renting DJs or, or hiring DJs for their barbecue, but I remember when, you know, somebody had to do it on the tape player. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We talking mm-hmm. about something at the house. Or oh, they would make the special mixtape for the barbecue. If they cared that much. Yeah. If they care. But a lot of people did, though. They really did. And I remember, too, like growing up in Maryland, man, you would even have, like, when you would go to a barbecue and they would be playing go go music, you would even have people playing, like, the PA tapes, the live concerts that they would record and make the tapes of. And then you would see that. <clears throat> and that added a whole nother wrinkle because when the women get to dance in the go go, it's a, the game has changed, Slink. The game has changed. But let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Was y'all smoking some weed? I wasn't. Because, Slink, as you know, I'm the only, if not one of the only members of the Smoke Yours You're the crew. only one? I'm the only one that doesn't actually smoke in the Smoke Yours crew. So, you know, I'm a flag carrying member, man. You know pioneer. I'm a pioneer in many ways, I guess. I see you eat. You're hey, the president man. of the Eat Yours crew. Yes, I love to eat. This is mine. <laughs> I didn't expect for this nigga to come over here <laughs> eating my shit. I was hungry. These are my little hors d'oeuvres, little bachelor snacks. And look, look who walks in. Yeah, man. Mr. Deceptively Soulful. Yeah, and I said, hey, Slink, you making something? You need to put some more on that, Slink. Because I definitely like some fish and some tater tots. From way back in the day, man. Well, sponsorship. Yeah. Come on down. Yeah. Or a writer, Bandy Camps, we give you a free shot today. <laughs> that shit is good. Now, Slink, <clears throat> we talking about all the positive, but of course that comes with some negativity, man. The family fights at the barbecue, man. You got Anna Anita, she fighting with, you know, whoever over there in the corner. Over old oh, shit. You know, yeah, Anna Anita, Anna yeah, Anita, she fucked Gladys, ain't Gladys nigga way back. <laughs> in 83. Come on now, it's over with now. You know, ain't need it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, ain't Gladys still mad. Ain't Gladys, man, come on. Uncle Willie already went on the guy with Anita now. <laughs> didn't nobody even have to the know. The game has changed. Didn't nobody even know y'all hit back in the day, but you still carrying the grudge. Stop, girl. So I was on, you know, it's, it's gotta be a fight. It wouldn't be a barbecue if somebody didn't air out their grievances. It, it wouldn't be a proper barbecue. I don't mean, that don't mean they have to fight. No. Nah. But Heated discussion. Heated discussions, emotions have to flare somewhere because you know, black people are passionate about the shit that we care about. Right. And I've plus, seen it. when the Hennessy floor, that intensifies <laughs> that intensifies the passion. Man. That only intensifies the Brown makes it go down, Slim. Mm-hmm. Man, it's a mm-hmm. dangerous game. You ever had some family stuff going on that was crazy when, when you were at the barbecue? Oh, you can find out all kinds of stuff at the barbecue. And then you know, again, you tie it back. You, it all comes together. As you get older, you start hearing it all come together. My mom was just telling my cousin just the other day how my uncle got another daughter mm. that was born the same year as her sister, <laughs> but she didn't know about that one. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. But it all comes out in time. People be messy at the barbecue, but hey, you can find out your family lineage. You can find out your family lineage at the barbecue. Yeah, man. And even uh, Queen Latifah, man. She had that movie Cookout, too, man. Oh, great movie. Great <clears throat> movie. Yeah, it's good to see uh, celebration in the midst. Amen. But the great thing is the food. What's your favorite thing to eat at a barbecue, Slim? Mm. Mm. To be honest? Yeah. I like some good-ass baked beans. Mm, with the barbecue, with with as long as you got the with the, with some ground meat in there, the whatever oh, meat, get the yeah. meat and the baked beans. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man, mm. that definitely takes it to to another level. And especially when you get that big pot, you got to use the wooden spoon on. Mm. You can't mm. get the small one with, where you can just use a little sil- the little silver spoon. Don't come with that little bullshit yeah, teaspoon. Yeah, yeah, we don't need that. We need the big wooden spoon. You got like the vat of don't, the baked beans. Don't play Woo. yourself. Don't play yourself. Yeah, man. You know what I'm talking about? And then you go to the barbecue. The food is great. Mm-hmm. 
but people always skimp on the paper plates, so you never the shit be falling over. You got to paper plates. What about the napkins? Yes, they always yes. running out of the napkin. I'm like, dog. Yeah, you know you're gonna need a lot of a lot of napkins, man. It's motherfucking uh, juicy as that food is. All that goddamn sauce and all this yeah, fucking man. liquids everywhere. You need plenty of napkins, man. Because I'm not trying to go to the barbecue and be cute. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I go to the barbecue. I take two outfits. I take the one outfit to take my pictures in, and I take my eating outfit. Because I'm not <laughs> fucking around. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just. Nigga, have barbecue sauce. All, then how you got barbecue sauce here? On your forearm. Barbecue sauce all back here. It goes down. So, you know, I got, you know, I'm not trying to be cute, man. Nor should you. Well, there it is, Slink. We, we about to wrap, wrap up this episode of The Gray Area. Because the food's almost gone, fish. man. It was some good fish, Slink. Appreciate mm-hmm. that, man. Vandy Camp, we're your boys, man. Hit us up. Gray Area, Slink Johnson and Soren Baker. We already know the Gray Area. Mm-hmm.